Hey heroes, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, The Oracle of Seasons, with me, Voltage McGammer. Today we're going to get that piece of heart in a cemetery and then leave the cemetery for good. We'll never go back there ever again. I might come here though. You see that tree that I told you would probably take your money earlier? Oh, the thing is, it actually gives you, like, 300 rupees. But if you look at how much rupees I have, or how many rupees, rather, uh, I wouldn't be able to get them all. So I'm gonna wait till later I get that. Anyway, in order to get that piece of heart, you saw that was guarded by mushrooms. So therefore, it needs to be... Autumn. Also, now that we have the rock's cape, which is awesome, we can make this gap in here. Don't even need the Pegasus Seed, just jump on over. Push this up, push this aside, we're in. Hooray, we're in the graveyard again. Alright, now we're up here. Can I kill mushrooms? No, I can't. How about with the bigger answer? Can that take- no. So sure of myself, and yet so wrong. Piece of heart! Yeah! Okay, now we can get out of here. This guinea usually likes to block your way to this jump here. But this time, no, he just went off to his side, minded his own business. Hey, he's Link, I'm not gonna mess with him. Get your rock cape back out, because you know you're gonna see Maple right when you can. She's gonna be right here. I'm gonna hit her this time, just because I think I need more Gasha seeds. Okay, that was kinda lame. Yeah, it's me again. Yeah, everything in your bag flew out. Yeah, you're maple. We understand. Yeah, I think that's everything. Oh, heart. Yeah. Alright, I can do the hero's cave now. So I'm going to do that. Hero's cave! If you go up there first, you get 20 rupees. I have enough room for that, so I'm going to get that. I advise killing as many keys as you can before you begin. Note about Hero's Cave, you can do each level after each dungeon. So I could have done this first room, like, way back when. But, it's a lot easier if you go ahead and get the last thing at once, and besides... Yeah, it's... Besides, you can only proceed so far, and then you'll have to go come back again, and do the same thing over again. But, for the sake of this challenge, except for, like, things as tedious as pushing pots, I'm gonna do everything that you would be able to do. Usually a trick to this puzzle is that... Yeah. But, you can push these up. So if you didn't destroy this one pot that I pushed aside, and you guys were probably like, Whoa, why'd he push that aside? Yeah. Heroes Cave. Alright. So we get our bracelet back out. Push this over. This takes a little bit of timing. But not for me. Just destroy those pots so you can come back over because it's retracted. Now this puzzle can be a little bit tricky. It's not that tough though. What you have to do is push this over a little bit too far. Now you can come on over here and push this back over. Easy! Alright, this room. I gotta be careful because normally you're not supposed to have a level 2 sword when you take on this challenge. And, uh, just gonna put that off here so I don't accidentally destroy any pots. You need all the pots to hit all these. I like to do it this way. Push that all the way down. Push this over. Push this down. You gotta be careful, because if you mess up... Yeah, that's it. You gotta re-enter the room. Usually one of those guys is over here. Alright. Normally... Yeah, this is what happens. Every, every time you defeat a challenge, you can get warped back to the front. The warp changes places, and now you couldn't make that gap unless you had the Rock's Feather and the Pegasus Seeds. I have the Rock Tape, so I'm not gonna waste the Pegasus Seed. Okay. Again, same thing here. You need to use the Rock's Feather and the Pegasus Seed. I don't need to. More Rock's Feather-based challenges. I'm going to try and not use the glidey thing. That fell. Got overzealous with my diagonal jumping ability, or lack thereof. Go over here, get your key for pressing the switch. I'm gonna go talk to that Zora. That's the whole point of me coming here. 
I don't care about the rest of the t challenges and stuff. The Zor is a really important thing. I am traveling to lands under King Zor's orders to find a new domain, but no place takes the ease of the Brenna Seas. So will you hear my request? Sure. I would like you to tell this secret to my report to King Zor and the Brenna Seas, understood? Yep. Here is the secret. <laughs> understood? Yep. Thank you. That's the whole point of coming here. To talk to that guy. There's a lot more challenge to it than that, but... Really, that's the main thing. You should've came here, like... By the time you finish the second... Also, I don't like this room. Why? Those. Wall Masters. Even though they come from the ceiling. They're called Wall Masters. And I fell. Be careful when you fall, because that thing will try to get you. That's no good. Okay, now for an extreme pushing puzzle. You see these cracked floors? They'll fall right under you. So you gotta try and, like, realign yourself after you push. Yep, careful. Aha! Alright, now we just press the switch. We got a chest. Oh, it's surrounded by jellies and stuff. Or whatever these are called. Slimes? Bots? I don't know. Gosh, see! And hooray, we got the teleport back. Now you need the Zora's flippers in order to proceed. And it will ram that fact into your head. That... don't like you. And push this down. You gotta make sure you push that down, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get the chest. And then if you hit this, you're not going to be able to get through. Yeah. And anyway, we got the key. You need the key. I'm going to switch back over to this war because I need to kill the Zoras in this room because I hate them so much. I can turn down. Alright. Don't need it, but I'm going to get that fairy. What you need to do here is that know that the blocks only push one direction. One. I mean, some will push two, but in general, they'll refuse to go in a certain direction. Now we can go in here. Now I can get this back out. And I think you have to be fast. You might need Pegasus Seeds, you make this, you might not. No, you don't. I think you gotta be fast, because otherwise the torch will go out, and then... Yeah, you gotta do that all over again. Not only what I advise doing to kill everything in this room, is to stun them. But, my boomerang is enhanced, so I shouldn't use that. Yep. You have to kill everything, even the Zora. As far as I know. I've always killed the Zora because he always appeared on a platform before one of these guys ne went next to one. If one's being a real bum about it, you can take your seed shooter. Try and pop him a few. Uh, did I miss one? Um, what the heck? Why didn't... Okay. Was I not fast enough? What? You're supposed to kill everything in this room in order to get a key to drop, but it did... What the heck? Was I not fast enough? I didn't stand in a certain location? Are there hidden switches on these that I don't see? Do I have to do it while the torches in the other room are still lit? That's probably it. The torches probably went out. Which means I gotta push these all over again. Oh no, I didn't push that one down there. I gotta go do that. Sorry about the double jump, couldn't help it, I accidentally held it in. Switch. Seeds. Alright, now I better give me my key when I go in there now. Oh, oh, one's or one's or I didn't technically die or something. 
Alright, there we go. Don't know what's up with that. Now I got a key. Hooray! Next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Oracle of Seasons, I'll continue to do the Heroes Cave. Later, heroes.